Alrighty guys, this is Pit Bike Mike. So tonight I am going to be doing a exhaust install on this 2023 Kawasaki KLX 230 Supermoto. Now, <clears throat> start off by saying there really is not options for aftermarket exhaust for this bike, unfortunately, at this time. But Surprising, I posted a picture of the bike on Instagram, the whole nine, and I got a like and a comment from this company in Indonesia called Nore Fume. So, you know, looked at them, they seem like a decent, decent enough company. So, I decided to find their exhaust on eBay. So, I wanted to give it a try since kind of wanted something a little bit louder than the stock and this is what they had so we are going to be putting this on and giving it a go pretty good weld quality from what i'm seeing but i'm not a welder so i unfortunately don't know how well but it looks good it looks pretty good all right, so I guess first let me work on getting these panels off so I can get easy access to the exhaust. And because this one has a little O2 sensor right there, I'm going to have to work on getting that thing loosened out. So I guess let's get to it. So, looks like this bottom bolt right here, we're looking at 8mm, and this top bolt up here, 8mm also. So, let's get them loosened up and... Got this thing from Harbor Freight, so maybe I'll end up using it for this install. It's a little silicone tool holder so we'll hopefully it'll keep me from losing my tools because or bolts because that, that seems to be one of my worst my worst qualities one could say it's very unfortunate but all right so we got the one bolt up up top up top here is going to be the smaller bolt we got the larger bolt for the second one gotta make Ooh, that's a fumble the camera. Ooh, huzzah. All right, so. I am not familiar with this bike too much. So, oh, oh, man, that came off actually so much easier than I thought it was going to. <laughs> All right. So we got a mountain bolt up there, which I will take off. Um, I'll probably say close to the end just because and it looks like we got a 12 millimeter bolt right here for the uh, the clamp so get a good view of that and looks like that's also gonna be a 12 millimeter so beautiful at least so far we're just sticking with two sizes so pretty convenient and then, oh, actually, one right there, too. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to try to get a wrench back there and see what we're looking like for that. So I'll be first to admit I don't know much about this Nori Fume company. Uh, obviously, not this wasn't free. I, I bought the part myself, you know, to give it a try. So um, 
I'm hoping it's good quality. Um, I don't know much about it, but all right, that's dropped down a little bit. Let's grab my 17 and work on slowly getting this O2. do this one maybe have a little bit more wiggle room and not break anything I'm gonna put that bolt in there and I am going to go around and take a quick look at these uh, header bolts so for those header bolts we're looking like we're gonna be a 12 millimeter up there also so Good thing we're keeping with the trend so far. All right. Uh, header bolts up here. Give you an idea so you know what I'm looking at, what you're looking at, all that good stuff. So, uh, don't know how much you're going to see from that angle, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to get at it. Shoddy camera work on my, my side. My bad about that. So, all right, got the OEM pipe off. Gotta say, this thing is not light. Not light in the slightest. So, we will place this off here to the side. All right. So, probably what I might do is from the back to the front. So, ooh. so much, much lighter. Now, um, I am going to have to use the old clamp, I believe. I think. I don't know. It didn't really give very clear instructions on that. But we will see. I think it will. Alright, so that all lines up about the same, which is cool. That is always nice when things do that. Good practice to do is if you have it, I was told it's always good to put a little bit of anti seat on the said threads. So I got some copper based anti seize. Obviously, you don't need a lot. So you don't want to damage anything by putting on like a buku amount. So I'm just going to put a little dab right there on the threads. And then I'm going to get this thing threaded on it. That way, if I ever have to remove this in the future, it would be a little easier.
All right, so right before we do this cold start, let's just get a nice look-see. So we got that all done. Important part, obviously, make sure we got the O2 uh, sensor reconnected back up in there, which heard the click, all that good stuff. Now oh, look at that, so Norifume Original right there. So powerful, Nore Fume. So we got that done. Let's give it a start and see how C sounds. I am excited. All right. All right, here we go. So one downside I definitely will say is that due to the angle, I may have some issue with some burning on my uh, turn signal. So uh, definitely a small downside. Bike sounds amazing though. Absolutely amazing. Very loud. So we're starting to, as you can see, get that nice gold color in off of the, just a little bit of running. So... Uh, um, once everything cools back down, I'm going to recheck the tightness of everything. I'm going to get the side cover put back on. And then, yeah, hopefully in a little bit, we will get a, a ride video going on this thing with the new exhaust and see how she, uh, how she sounds on the road. But I'm, uh, I'm liking it so far. So let's get this side cover put back on and see how she looks. All right, so. That is now snug, snug, alrighty. Let's do one last look. That nice Norifume badge right there, easy to be seen. You got, I'm guessing also a little bit of the Norifume engraving right there on the side pipe. Oh, yep. Looking good, looking good. All right guys, I'm gonna end off the video there.